The most anticipated cricket series of the summer as far as New Zealand fans are concerned. Johnny Besto out for just four from 13. Partnership then of 79 runs between Joe Root and Jason Roy. And some powerful strokes in amongst some very good running. Jason Roy, though, missed one from Mitchell Satner. Just tied him up quite nice and tight. Owen Morgan came to the crease. This partnership only yielded 15 runs before he misread a wrong in from Isodi. Joe Root, all the while, was going along quite comfortably at the other end. Ben Stokes came and went fairly quickly. 12 from 22 for him. Trying to swing Mitchell Satner away over the leg side. Joss Butler have a brief chance, but then took to each Sodi in this one over. A single off the first ball, and then he went 6-6-6. Six, six, six. Did Joss Butler almost produced a run out here. A bit of brilliance from Martin Guptill at the bowler's end. Joe Root finally dismissed for 71 from 75. Just missed a straight one from Colin Munro. Good innings from Joe Root, Moen Ali. And Joss Butler then put together a very tidy little partnership of 47. Moen Ali making 28 from 26 deliveries, but well, he was dismissed as well. Just couldn't quite get a hold of one from Ish Sodi. And Gupta taking a comfortable catch after looking into the sun. Half century for Joss Butler. Brilliant finisher in world cricket. Joss Butler, this one was put down, should have been taken. Nichols. Coming in from the boundary, just uh, didn't get in far enough. Just wokes. Put and bowled by Trent Bolt. Good catch from him. And then Josh Butler and David Willey looking to finish things off from an England point of view. Butler, who was eventually run out very late in the piece. Tim Southey and Trent Bolt doing a brilliant job with the ball in the last five overs to restrict England to 284 for eight. Southey was outstanding, none for 47, didn't pick up a wicket, but he was brilliant with the ball. Munro started in a flurry, but was gone not long after Scott Styrus and England had an early breakthrough and it wasn't going to be the only one. No, it wasn't. New Zealand in big trouble early. A, a lazy shot from Kane Williamson. You don't expect that from him. Martin Guptill made it three when he picked out Ben Stokes at point. At that point, New Zealand were 27 for three with work to do. Tom Latham, under a bit of pressure, played nicely and in conjunction with Ross Taylor. They have a history of partnerships together. And they were able to find the boundaries and take their singles on offer as well. Spinners were always going to be the key, and New Zealand played them expertly. They weren't able to get through their full complement. England turning as well to the part-time off-spin of Joe Root. And Tom Latham, another half century, does enjoy the slower conditions. That was reviewed by England. Ball tracking coming up now, Sean. Over the top. England, of course, will then lose that one review. Good decision, Sean Hay. Ross Taylor, meanwhile, kept going along nicely. Put on 178 with Tom Latham, who towards the end of the inning struggled a little bit with cramps and could see in the movement that he wasn't able to get between the wickets as quickly as he normally does. That was a chance that was misjudged, but it didn't cost England too much at all as Joe Root took the catch mid on and from there England were back in the contest. They lost Henry Nichols' second ball and that became panic stations for New Zealand as De Gronholm as well went quickly. Ross Taylor, the last of the recognised batsmen there. 1,800 for him, the New Zealand record. There was a lot to do. Boundary started to flow. Mitchell Santa started slowly, two off nine at one stage. We thought it was all England, especially when that dismissal came. Ross Taylor, brilliant, 113. How was that? Not out. I can't miss Inconclusive, the decision. This partnership at the end was worth 43. This was the turning point. First of the over, and this the second. Back-to-back -back sixes, and all of a sudden, New Zealand believed. They needed 19 off the last two overs. 
and nine off the final. And Mitchell Santner finishing in style, 45 not out, and brings New Zealand home. Yeah, fantastic performance at the back end from Mitchell Santner. Ross Taylor with his 113. Chris Wokes, good, two for 47. Ben Stokes, two for 43. A welcome back for him to this England side. Adil Rashid just taken two in his last over. Ended up with one for 55 and a wicket for Willie and one for Tom Curran as well. So England asked to bat first here at Seddon Park in Hamilton, hosting 284 for eight. New Zealand replying with 287 for seven. They take this match by three wickets.